Hey, what is up guys? It's this Sir SG here. So, we just finished our Relation Manga match with a uh, card protagonist. If you haven't watched it, it should be up. It should be finished uploading already. And, uploaded. Yeah, uh, it should be uploaded already uh, by this time. So, you guys can go check it out first. But, uh, we have the new Tayo Star deck over here. And, yes. Uh, so, a little bit about the, this thing. It's a 500 yen thing in Japan. And, it's Tayo's deck. According, uh, according to the to the advertisement. So it's obviously Go Paladins, 500 yen. I don't know why it's this. Here's Tayo with half of his body gone. Nearly half. Uh, Knight of the Sun or something like that. And yes, uh, Knight of the Sun, uh, Card 5 Vanguard G, Go Paladin, 500 yen, Trout deck. They even say 500 yen here. So, yep. Here's a very small deck list if you guys can if you guys can see it. <coughs> Zoom in there. So I forgot my tripod today, so Glenn will be the meat tripod. <sighs> Alright, so <laughs> let's get on with it. Hey, wait, what kind of weak sauce thing is this? What do you mean I weak? You all just went to the freaking gym. Master to Taya. Yeah. I do a pull up machine until I'm dying already. You all had a sharp thing, and all I need to do was use my finger and it could be taken off. Alright. My finger very strong. I did leave. Yeah, ah, fuck. Huh? PG-13. PG-13. Alright, so this is the actual deck itself. Here's the promo. It, it comes with one Scotch Point Dragon. It's a reprint Scotch Point. And behind comes with a... Clan card. Clan card. Yeah. So... This is the actual deck itself. You know what, let me go through everything. So, here's the first guide if you are a real starter to manga. It comes with everything you need to know, but it's in Japanese. So, Google Translate. Yeah, Google Translate, bro. And uh, what's this? Some advertisement slip. And a play mat. Okay, Glenn, you're gonna have to. So, behind here, it shows everything about the Gold Paladins, the G format deck. Like, here you have some of the start deck cards. You have the new starter over here. The new Gurgin art, uh, Gold Breath Dragon. I think so. Sunray Breath Dragon, or something like that. Something Breath Dragon. Uh, here's Holy Mage Quill. Uh, Spear Cross. Hey, I hope he's gonna be reprinted in 07, man, honestly. Then here are some of the GBT 07 cards. Like over here, you have the Double Red Crit. Spear Cross. Spear Cross. And uh, the new Grade 3 and the new Grade 1 that's gonna be printed in the first. In, in the, no, 07. Yeah. So I'll leave that aside. Alright, so let's get out the actual deck itself. So to start things off, we have two copies of Sunrise Night Gurgin or something like that. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we have two copies of him. I'll go over the skills of the cards later. So okay. <laughs> And next, two of the strike cards. So that's the strike card of the deck. Now on to the secondary grade three. Four Divinity Lens Dragon. So yes. This deck supports the new keyword Unite for Gold Paladins if you guys didn't know. Next to uh Proud Proud Knight Dragon or Yeah, I'm not good with the card names. Lion. Ah uh, Proud Ah uh, uh, forget it. Uh. Okay, no point, so sad. Yeah, no point. Okay, now on to the great tools. We have one, two, three, four copies of Ayago. Jago. Jago or whatever. The great the galatine of the deck. Next two copies of this are uh, Holy Mage guy. Then two copies of the Unite uh, and Chalky Attacker. It's not Unite, right? Yes. Yeah, him. And two copies of the E Special Interceptor. So that's it for the Great Tools. Now to the Great Ones. We have one, two, three, four copies of uh, Key Markers. Key Markers, right? Yeah. Then we have one, two, two copies of this uh, Unite Unite Booster. Plus 2k Red Booster Unite, right? Yeah. I have no idea. Okay. I think they went call is. Either way, I think some people will take that out from the thing. Uh. Yeah. Next we have one, two, three, four copies of Strike Order. Which I don't get why. I don't know why either. I thought they only give two eh, but ah, uh, forget it. One, two copies of the Lolly Kansen. I'd rather they give four Kansen than two, two four strike photos. Yeah, who done it? Eh? Next. One, two, three copies of this um this doge. When you on call from deck plus 2k. From deck, uh? I think so should be. I, I think it's on call. Uh. Huh? 
Alright, we have a translator over here, but let's carry on first. So, just call, right? Yeah, so Starlight Unicorn, guys. Okay. Uh, next one of the great ones, we have one uh, for Coel. This is, guys, the starter, the new starter. Now, onto the triggers, we have two no non effect crits. One, two, three, four draw triggers. One, two, three, four stand triggers. Because Unite Power Up Guard, you gotta get the stand triggers in, man. It's like Sentry Guard. Next, we have one, two, three, four copies of Heal Triggers. Create the most OP effect ever. Here's the effect you can only run four heals in a deck. I see. Can you tell me a heal trigger that doesn't have the effect? Good question. None. Next, we have two copies of. Um, what, what's Flame of Victory. Ah, uh, Flame of Victory. Go for Gurgit Soul last. Yes, Gurgit, Gurgit requires a lot of soul. So Actually, not really. Uh. It's soul and counter blast. Right, so let's backtrack a bit. So, Quell's effect is um, he's a forerunner, obviously. And um, Generation Break 1. When this unit, uh, you can suck him into the soul. Unite, unite. You must unite first. Yeah, when you're in Unite, you can suck this guy into your soul and. You check top 3 right? Yes, for 1 unit and superior coil plus 2k. Yeah, top 3, 1 unit and plus 2k. In so it's like a In case y'all don't know, unite is when you call 2 units to either rear guard or sure. guardian circle. Yes, so... So you are united for a turn. In a sense, unite, unite is a just call. <laughs> so it can be from hand, from deck, from anywhere. No, no, no don't have to no be need. from deck. From hand also can. Okay, so Karen's Gauss effect, we just clarified. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like Starlight Unicorn. Uh. If you guys don't know what Starlight Unicorn is, he's from the very first Vanguard trial deck. And um, he gives one Rearguard plus 2000 power if he is caught into the Rearguard circle. Now the Kanzen. Uh, this Kanzen is strong because you don't have to. You, it doesn't have the effect that when called from that, must be called from him. Yes, so if, if you put it in comparison with the Unfaper Negate. Uh, uh, hi again. Hello. Okay, so if you compare this guy with the this lady with the Unflipper Negate, the Unflipper Negate is required you to pull from the hand. So, uh, from the, yeah, from the hand. This guy, this girl can be called from the deck. Uh. So, Go for Gurgi. Yes, Gurgi can transcend. Finally. Now the Strike Fodder. So he allows you to search your deck for one Gurgi if you call him to the Rear Circle and you discard a card. And when you toss him out for Strike, he's a great three. And this guy, I think it's when you boost a Unite. Uh. Right, CP doesn't boost Unite, right? Oh, yeah, boost a Unite. Yeah. Boost a Unite. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, the Unite obviously has to be activated for the plus 2k, so. Yes, so that's a 9k great one for you. And uh, the especially the setter just at intercept, right? Yes, intercept GB1, GB1. Yeah, GB1 intercept plus 10k shield. So it's a 15k guard. G Guardian guys. <laughs> so one, two, three, no effect cards, vanillas. Now on to this guy. Okay, so he's a generation break one when when you are in the state of unite, which is two unit appear in a Vanguard or Rega circle. No wait, wrong. When he when two unit appear in the Guardian Circle or the Rega circle. From anywhere, hand or deck. He plus three thousand power. So yes, 12k attacker. Can you uh, you can note right? If you even if you call it after you support, call two years on the field, right? You still get the power. As long as you are in yeah, unite. As long as you. You are united for a turn. <laughs> yeah, that's the key. All right. Yeah, the, the the skill is basically when you call two units for this turn, right? You can all your units get united. Even if you put after you call two units. Uh, some people are not sure, lah. So it's an AOE effect, in a sense. Yeah. You don't worry, lah. You don't have to like put first. Put first, right? Then you call another unit to unite. You can like yeah. call unite first. Call him. Oh, cool. Okay, so this guy, um, he, I personally like him a lot because uh, his effect is um, counter blast one when he attacks hit the Ven when he attack hits the vanguard, you retire him, right? No, you put him so. Ah, you put him into your soul, so he's a free soul gainer for Gurgin, and you and can you check, check top three. Yes, you can check the top three for one guard and call it to the field. So first, he has no generation break. If you guys didn't take note of that, he's a pressure rising card with the attack hit vanguard effect. And you gain a free soul for Gurgin's Generation Break 2. We'll talk more about his Generation Break 2 later. So the Ayago's no effect. So 4 AK Bananas. Yeah, AK Bananas. 
So, okay, so this guy, his effect is a generation break one where he attacks. Gain 6k. Yes, when he's in a Vanguard circle, of course, you swing at a Vanguard. You gain plus 6k. And, uh. For the, sorry for the background music. Sorry for the background noise. Alright. So his counter blast 2 is when you should appears in the Vanguard circle. You can check out 4 to superior power 1 real card. Yes, so it's a free card game, but counter blast 2 counter a bit blast expensive. Two. I mean I'll take him out for something else. Uh. Obviously. Obvi obviously, obviously for Gurgin, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so for Divinity Lens Dragon, yeah, his effect is Vanguard or Regal Circle if you are if you are in a unite ability. He's a 14k attacker. Yes, and he has no generation break as well. Next, Gurgin. Alright, the main card attack. What's its effect, you may ask? Generation Break 2, you can call up Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. When he's in a Vanguard Circle and you're being attacked, you can and check the, the top. Your guard step, so once. Ah, once only. You get to check the top 4 or 5. Top 4. Ah, uh, top 4 and you search one guy and put it to the Guardian Circle. So that's so one can, one thing down for the Unite Ability already. And Kanzen. Yeah, you can, put the, you can put this Kanzen out as well. Since this Kanzen, you can you can call anyway. GBTO 7 probably will have a Unite Kanzen, so yes. yeah. Then Strike Skill. Yeah, the Strike Skill is a um, Color Blast 1. When a Strike card appears over him, you can check the top 4. And you Super Call 1 Go Paladin card. Plus 2k. Yes, and, and the card plus 2k. Next for this whole Holy Breath. I call it Holy Breath. Uh. Uh, his effect is... um. You get to wait. What was his effect? When you unite this unique game five k, your front row rear guards gain two k. Rear guards only, ah. Uh. I think so. Uh. This one is only front row rear guards gain two k and yourself gain five. Yeah, correct. Yes. Front yeah. So by himself, he's a uh, thirty one thousand. If you are in unite, and no, uh, the other two guys get plus two thousand power. So quite okay. Yeah. So this deck is actually quite good if you get two and put it into and you put it together. Obviously, this deck needs some tuning. Like personally, I'll take out the IR rose for Quill. The Amber Clone for Go Paladins, and I'll take out two. Of, I'll take out this Unite guy to put in more Kanzens. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it a lot. If you have any suggestions for any openings, you can put it in the description below and add us on Facebook if you haven't. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.